Welcome back, everybody. Matthew Street here with some more, um, what are we playing again? <laughs> some more RDR2. Kind of screwed up there for a second. I was streaming another game earlier, so, or not streaming, just, uh, playing one. So, uh, yeah, here we are. I am, uh, what are we gonna do today? I did in that last stream, the last video, that's about an hour and a half long, so it's longer than I normally like to do, but it was a stream. I did go ahead and do a story mission in that. Um, I said we're going to save most of the story missions for just recordings, but eh, you know what? Every now and again, uh, I think it's kind of cool. It was a good way to interact. We had a, a few people on, so we had a good time. So we're going to go ahead and uh, just resume today. What else did we do in that last episode? Well, I remember we also got um, four, I think it is four total, of the Gunslingers. So that was pretty cool. So let me uh, go ahead and make sure I did do that. Go to my photographs here. There we go. So Black Bell. So let's go ahead and flip that. Read it. Cool. So yeah. Anyway, we did those, as you saw here. Let me actually open those back up for you. That way you can see what we did. And those are fun missions, so uh, certainly go catch that stream if you want to. It, it's up on my YouTube channel. Uh, so we did all four of those. Uh, that's all we can do right now. So we went ahead and did those. We also... I gotta go see, because I think I didn't save the game at the very end, because I wanted to do a couple missions differently. Uh, yeah, so like this is one that we went ahead and did. So we'll go ahead and do this. We're gonna do a couple challenges. Uh, at least get started on them. We're not gonna do them all. Those are gonna take too long. Then we're also uh, gonna go ahead and... Let's go ahead and brush Boom Boom first. But then we're going to go ahead and go search for one other thing that we did get towards the end of that last episode. That, again, I think I intentionally left out saving it so I could show all y'all. But, yeah, check it out because we got some cool stuff done. It was a lot of fun. So, nah, she's pretty clean. So, you know what? Actually, before we do this, I prefer that we go ahead and sleep because we need the health. So does Moon Moon. We all need that rest. We could just eat to catch it up, but we'll go ahead and do that. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and jump right into it here as soon as we wake up. And if you do enjoy the videos, please uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, notify the whole nine yards. We uh, very much appreciate it. So let's see here. I've probably got plenty of stuff I need to cook too, but I'm not going to worry about it. We'll do that later. And again, I'm not going to make y'all sit through that because <laughs> we are stacking it up. So we're going to have a lot of stuff that we need to get done. So we're just going to go ahead and sleep till morning. Again, like I had said before, wouldn't it be nice to say, hey, I'm going to sleep for 14 hours. Catch y'all on the flip side. I would love to have that ability. Um, let's go ahead and tear down the uh, camp. And let's go check out this uh, money item. And we're looking a little skinny. We probably do need to eat anyway. See if we can jump on the back. There we go. All right. So we know it was right over in this area. Yeah. Oh, 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 God. Mm -mm. That looked easier before. Okay. Oh, God. Watch your heads. <laughs> I'm giving Arthur a heck of a time on this ride, aren't I? Let's go ahead and eat while we are talking about that. Won't hurt. I'll just do some cooked beef. Cool. All right. So let's go check this out. This is one of the uh, money uh, collecting, I guess we would say, for uh, Herr Strauss. Uh, let's just always, in case, have a weapon ready. You know me. We have our poison arrows with the bow. And then always carbine. You chick? I was told I could find a Chick Matthews up here. Chick Matthews? Mm, you might want to talk to that fella over there. Now nah, I'm just here to work for the season. Come here, Moomin. You Chick Matthews? Oh, no, no, not me, sir. Uh-uh, that's the Greenhorn over there. Ah, uh, the guy we just talked to. Uh-uh. So I don't think so, sir. So long, Lone Shark. All right. We got the lasso ready. Cool. Let's go see if we can can't, can't catch up to this guy. Come on. Push it, Moon Moon. You got this. You make me go much further. I'll get more than a dead off you. <laughs> oh, Arthur. Yeah. Touche. We've already had that conversation with Strauss. He is not lending to the right people. Come on, girl. Oh, watch out, sheep. We can get through this without killing ourselves. All right, perfect. Come on, come on, catch up. I hate when she just slows down at random like that. Now you're already getting me angry. Oh really? Watch this. Too slow, old man. Run into the train, I dare you. The more you owe, the more you still there. 
Let's see if we can get him. Where yep. Are you going? Perfect. <laughs> we got Where are you going? Oh no, you're not going down that easy. Let's go ahead and hog tie him on up. Well, let's loot you first, sir. God damn treasure hunt! You're lucky <laughs> I ain't taking your teeth as well. Come on, this ain't right. View the map to find the debt's location. All right, let's do that. Aren't you gonna untie me? Maybe. I want to go find this first. Oh, we need to look at the map that we got off of him. All right. Girl. All right. You got the map. Do the decent thing. All right, if something should happen to me, my worldly possessions are stored here. Everything, huh? Okay. So, let's go ahead and flip it over. See if there's anything there. Nope. Completely blank. So, I'll flip it back over. Okay. Okay, I'm just trying to figure out where exactly this is. So, oh, well, there we go. That'll tell us, won't it? Look at the X there, Matthew. That'll help. Okay, cool. So, I don't know why they're waypoint down, but, eh, whatever. So, uh, it looks like there's a tree with a knot in it. With a hole. And that's what we're looking You're for. Done good, girl. Are we in two warm of clothes? No, we're good. Well, that's the only tree kind of standing out. That's got to be it. Oops. My dismount skills need some serious improvement, don't they? Okay, search the tree. Let's do it. There's something in there, in there. Grab it, Arthur. Kind of scary just blindly putting your hand in there, but it really wasn't hidden all that well. Chick's debt money. That was your, all of your uh, worldly possessions, huh? Okay, so that's been successfully recovered. Now, what to do with Mr. Matthews? <laughs> Actually, in the stream, we were going to be morbid. We're gonna try to feed him to a gator. Should we do it? You know what? I want to do it just to see. Cause what was weird? Cause we are gonna cheat, and I'll show you. We're gonna go just teleport down there. Um, a gator would not pop in for the life of me. It's like there's always gators, but not that time. But we'll try it again. We'll see if we can find us an alligator to feed this guy to. Well, even though we're trying to be good, Arthur, uh, it's fun to have a little fun now again. So, okay. And we have a bounty. That's neat. So we're going to have to pay that off. Maybe related to having uh, done this in the first place. <laughs> Just trying it in the stream. But let's see if we can find us a gator. Oh God, I need a favor. There goes a bug. What do we got? What do we got? That's not a gator. I thought it was for a second. I don't think we can feed him to a snapping turtle, so that's not gonna happen. <laughs> Let's see, I'm gonna find us a gator. And I will bring y'all back here in a second. Once we check out what it was we just took out. <laughs> what was this? A toad. Alright, cool. Alright, we'll take that. Got some frog legs for us. Yep, I'm gonna get us on a gator and we'll be back in a second. Found us a gator. And a snake. <laughs> That's a tiny one. Eh, I guess it's not too miniature. Alright. Look away if you don't like this. We're about to feed this dude. A person. Okay, I don't want to get too close. Don't want to get too close, but I do need to trigger him. Okay, there we go. Okay, I'm out your way. I'm out your way. Good luck, dude. Have fun. You're welcome. Oh, God. That was awful. <laughs> but we did it, so heck yeah. Um, I do see a snake roaming back there, too. And we could use those for, like, some saddles or something later. So he's not panicking. It's cool, and it is perfect. I know, there's a gator here. Just chill out. It's not going to hurt us. Don't run into it, or me. And there's a snake. I know, you're going to have some serious issues with me when we're done with this. See if we can get him to coil up. Oh god, there's two. Coil up, coil up, coil up. I want it right in the head. And I missed it. 
That was cool. And great, we've been bitten. Good Get job. <laughs> Just coil up one more time for me. There we go. Alright, got him that time. Let's go ahead and skin him. And like I've mentioned before, we always need to keep on us some ginseng. Just for this very particular reason, since I was stupid and got us a bit. We can go ahead and heal ourselves. But I'm trying to pick up this arrow. Alright, there's one. Did we already get the other one? Don't know. But, yeah, let's go ahead and get to that quickly, because that's not going to be cool if we keep letting it kill us. i got to remember which one it looks like in here. Don't want to eat the ginseng, or the, uh, oleander sage. That'd make it worse, wouldn't it? Cool, and we have plenty of ginseng, so we're good. I know that we had seen another snake that was perfect. So we're going to see if we can't track him down without getting eaten by a gator ourselves. Let's see if we can find that real quick. And yet again, we got that same person coming by. But we're not going to mess with her right now. Yeah, I can tell. We'll see you later. He's going to do it again, I promise you. Uh, right here, coil up on me. Coil up, coil up, coil up. This thing is not wanting to do that. Either. But we can do that. Well, I said we can do it. Oh, I guess we did get it. Okay, well, cool. Good for us. Go and skin that. Got us a snake, man. So we got us uh, two perfect snakes. That's awesome. All right, Moon Moon's thoroughly freaked out. All right, so now that we've done that, we're going to go ahead and back to camp and uh, turn in Chick Matthews' uh, bounty, and we'll be back with you here in a second. Hey, who's there? It's me. Welcome back. Well, thank you, Lenny. All right, so we're back. We're going to go ahead and get this turned in real quick. And we got, ooh, we got something we're going to try. We may not get to a challenge yet. Good morning, Javier. Uh, we got, we can go hunt with Charles. I think that's what it is. See a little scope there. It's probably hard to see if you're watching on a phone. But yeah, we are certainly going to do that. Let's turn in what we owe. I say that. And he's well not there. Done, Arthur. You found the Irish Terrier. I did. Sadly. <laughs> I like Sean. He's just a younger version of you. <laughs> Please don't say that to me, Dutch. <laughs> oh, it's true. It's true. Go and give all those debts. How much was it? How much is our cut? Give it already, Arthur. All right, there you go. Thirty-five bucks. We get about what? Five bucks. All right, that's cool. So yeah, I just popped up on the top Morning, left. Arthur. Morning, Uncle. We that we have a companion activity, so we are certainly going to do that. What you prepare for? The greatest of gifts. An unguarded stagecoach. <laughs> no, you simple-minded fool. Bison. 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 From which you can get anything. There's some over on the plains, I believe. I saw a couple a long way off. Oh. Right? Good luck. You want to come with me? I'll show you how we hunt one. Sure. Why not? Mount up then. Let's go. I do love how we're early enough in the story. It's like, I'll show you how to hunt a bison. It's like, hmm, I think we've already figured that one out. But, all right. We'll go do it. Charles may be my favorite character, and that dude's awesome. And you'll see a lot more of that as we progress, but... You know, it was before my time, of course, but... My mother used to tell me stories of how her tribe moved with the bison. Let's get our stuff at the ready. They lived almost as one. The bison went, my people went. And they were the center of all life. We couldn't survive without them. They provided us with everything. Food, clothing, shelter, tools. There was a lot of respect. Huh. I don't remember much of my childhood, but I think my people, well, we pretty much moved with the whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> well, my father did that too. Let's try over here, to the left. Over there. You see them all? Incredible, aren't they? We should only kill one of them. Okay. I'll keep them ringed in, and you see if you can bring one down. Will do. Okay. Clean as you can. Watch me. Okay. You know what? We can just do it from here with a rifle, can't we? Nope, nope, never mind. Let's scratch that. He changed that plan on us. Alright, where are we going? Where are we going? Which one are we going to go after? We want a perfect. Show the info. I don't know if that's perfect or not. But you know what? It's right here. Oh, well, never mind. Oh, goodness. 
Oh god. Nope. I want to be careful. And I missed, really. There we go. Just go down already, bud. Get that arrow out. There you go. Just take him down. Those are incredible looking. Go ahead and skin him. Cool. Well done. Well, thank you, sir. Save that gory part, maybe. <laughs> Trying to get a different angle. Man, those things are huge. Gotta get the horns, apparently. Now we're just caked in blood. Hmm. Good job. Stow that on your horse and mount up. I wanna go check something out. Alright. Okay. Will do, but I need to get some creeping time real quick. I'll be right there, Charles. Saw this over here. Certainly want that for our big game meet. I was talking earlier about how I need to do some cooking. No doubt I do. I probably got a lot of big game meat. Or at least a decent amount. Alright, Char Charles. Let's ride. Where are we going? I thought I saw some scavenger birds over here. Just wanted to see what attracted them. You're a brave girl. Can we move a little faster? Why would someone do that? I don't know. But I see tracks heading in this direction. I say we follow them. Alright. Lead the way. What tracks we see in here, Charles? Now he's got better skills than us, doesn't he? Could it have been an animal? No, they've been shot. I just don't know why anybody would just leave the... Rot like that. I'm doing that for a reason. <laughs> Let me go check our challenges, actually, because I think that's our next challenge we got to do for the horsemen is get so many bunnies from our horse. So I just want to go ahead and see if that's it, and if they count. Uh, to, nope, never mind. We did that one already. <laughs> Oops. Okay, well, there's a couple of animals that uh, we're just doing what Charles is complaining. I don't know why anybody would shoot something. Just leave it behind. Uh, our bad. Okay, so we got a ride from Valentine to Rhodes. We'll probably do that one before this is over, because that one's not too bad. Dead bison. On the hill. Get that back to our poison arrows, which I got to craft some of those. Come on. I just want to go and get some better clothes. I just feel like we're going to start yeah, burning up here in a second. Again. But this one looks fresher. There's a camp there. I'm going to take a look. All right, let's check the abandoned campsite. What do we got? Anything lighting up? We got a couple things here. Looks like maybe some chewing tobacco and moonshine, I think. Go ahead and take it. Maybe some salmon over there. And that's fish, I think. You cool. find anything, Arthur? Looking. Apparently. Sure, we found something. We'll oh, just roll with it. Gone cold yet. Maybe half a day since they left. Bison's been dead about the same amount of time. So what do you want to do? They could still be in the area. Let's get up higher. See if we spot anything. Alrighty. Following your lead. This way. We okay. should have a good view from up here. Well, let's check it out, Charlie. Okay. You see anything? Campfire way out there. I see some smoke to the east. Maybe another camp. It's worth a look. All right. Let's go. Let's do it. Lead the way. Come on. What, do I need to come back to you first? And you're as bad as Moon Moon. Let's go. Alright, now we're riding. Uh, we'll just kind of lead the way, why not? We do want to go ahead and eat something real quick, though. We're getting a little low. We just picked up some salmon. We'll do that. Killing for fun. And Moon Moon needs to eat, too. There's your carrot, girl. I don't kill for fun. I kill when I need to.
All right, so we're gonna go check out what the smoke is about. We know uh, clearly Charles is upset. It has to be that. Come on. That is messed up. People really did that back in the day. Get that car bomb ready. I just got a feeling we're gonna need that. We're on a mission. Did you fools shoot those bison? What's your problem? I said, did you fools shoot those bison? Calm down, you black or red bastard, whatever the fuck you are. Oh, no, uh-uh. Did you shoot them? Yes, we did. We shot them bison. We'll shoot you, too, if you don't get... What business is it of yours? What? We... Uh, uh, it's I... that business of mine! Good God, you're crazy! Goodness, Charles. I got a family. A family. Don't shoot me. Stand back, Charles. I'll get you some answers. Okay. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? Why are you <laughs> killing those bison and leaving them to rot? I don't know what you're talking about. God damn it, tell us and you're dead. Oh, okay. We were paid to kill as many as we could. And make it look like it was Indians. Just kill him, Arthur. No. Please. Good Lord. Don't kill me. I'm begging you. Nah, we're going to let him go. Even though it's messed right. up. Now get out of here. Just don't, don't shoot me, mister. I got a family. Then leave. Then run away. Why did you do that? He didn't need to die. Maybe he'll go tell his friends now what happens to poachers. I've seen enough of this. I'm heading back. Okay. I'm going to see if there's anything worth taking from their camp. I'll catch up with you later. Man. Charles just wanted to be brutal. Why did we let him live? Man, ooh, leaky there. That's a good thing. Poison throwing knife. Let's go ahead and inspect it so we can do it. That's awesome. We could use those. Just require sage. What else do we have that we can tag? We know we can loot his body. There's another little box and some edibles. So we'll go ahead and uh, take all that. But yeah, Charles just wanted us to go full out brutal, didn't he? Got mad at us for letting the guy go. Can't carry any more of those. Must be full. Go and loot the tin. <laughs> really? <clears throat> you struggle opening that, Arthur? <laughs> Alright, cool. Looks like uh, some more... Some bread and some chewing tobacco is what I was looking at. Go and take it. And I think that about covers it. I didn't see anything else popping up that we can get. Oh, well, you know what? Those rifle cartridges, there's actually something next to that. I wasn't paying attention. Some gun oil, I think. Yep, there we go. I'll take the gun oil. Okay, cool. So now that we've done that, I'm actually going to head to uh, Valentine. That way we can try the... Well, actually, I need to turn in this buffalo. So I'm going to go to camp, then go to Valentine and ride to Rhodes. So we'll see you all here in a second. Alright, cool. Bringing you all back in real quick. Um, I know I mentioned in an earlier episode, once we got the fast travel, the one thing that sucks is that you can't really fast travel unless you're already at camp. But I forgot, you can. If you set up a mobile camp like we did, and then you... I don't even think you have to sleep. We just slept to morning to do it. But then uh, you saw it right there. We can. So we went ahead and chose Valentine because we're going to go ahead and do that challenge. But yeah, we rode up to see the trapper. Figured it'd be cool to uh, sell him that bison because we can use that in crafting clothing later. Also went ahead and got rid of all the other pelts. We had a good cougar, uh, poor wolf pelt. And that bison was a uh, pretty good one, actually. I think it was $6.25. So, yeah, that was worth it. Okay, cool. So we are now, you know what, we're going to switch that back. Because since we're riding to roads, it's going to be warmer there. I think we'll get away with the uh, mildest average temperature outfit for now. So we're gonna go. We're going to go get set up. Ah, man, we just need to do that at some point, don't we? I just don't want to yet. But um, and for those that want to see that little saloon right here, right there, that's where that stranger mission was, where we started the uh, gunslinger missions. Thank you. But you can go check that out later. Now, uh, when you do these, there's kind of a trigger point. And uh, one thing I found, if you just always start right here by the little stagecoach sign which is right there 
And that always shows as locked unless you're off your horse, by the way. So, just an FYI. Um, actually, what we're going to do is we're going to go and clean her because we want her good to go for this ride. But, yeah, when you do this race from one point to another, if you just go basically from railroad station to railroad station, you're good. But I just always start at that little sign. So I'll go ahead and show you in the map, too, the trick to this. And this is going to be the key to any of these horseman challenges where you have to ride from one point to another. Use the railroad tracks. Because roads is down here. we got to do it in five minutes, which really isn't that bad. So we're just going to uh, run across, just basically down this railroad track the entire time. I just got to remember, it forks once, and we stay to the left. Okay, cool. And then basically once we get down here by the post office train station, then we'll be good to go. Um, yeah, you know what? While we're here, I'm going to go ahead and pay off that bounty, too. Just in case. Because my luck, we roll into roads, and next thing you know... We're uh, getting tackled by lawmen and end up with all that problem. I am here. All right, get over here, Alden. I'll be with you in just a moment. That's not Alden. I just want to pay a bounty, man. Glad to see you on the up and up. Yep. What can I do for you? I already took care of it. Thanks. Appreciate it. Okay. Cool. Bye. So let's go. Bye. Good morning, sir. Good morning, ma'am. All right. So let's go ahead and jump on uh, Moon Moon and let's get this going. Remember, left at the fork. Left at the fork. She should be good on stamina. She's fed, well rested. So uh, let's just go. Come on. All right, this particular section right here, I'm just gonna run this way because it does run. Uh, we'll run into the train track. Plus, the one thing with these, if you ever fall off your horse during this, uh, it stops basically. Good try. You have to go start all over again. That's why there's one later on that just can be a real pain in the butt. We'll show that one later, but that's going to be a while. That's towards the very end of the game. Um, but yeah, so we remember our little stamina trick since we do have that level 4 bond when she starts dropping in stamina. Because we just keep riding her hard. Say something and it will uh, fill back up. Man, there are snakes everywhere. Because I mentioned we had those couple snakes. Y'all saw us get those. Okay, why is it not shooting up her stamina? Okay, there we go. But yeah, um, we saw those couple snakes we got when we went and fed Chick Matthews to the gator. <laughs> but we also... What was that? But we also uh, got a couple right by the trapper. Snakes are just popping in left and right all of a sudden. And we were trying to go for them to get that camp upgrade. We couldn't find one to save our life. I got another one of those shoot challenges. That same guy we murdered a couple episodes ago. <laughs> So yeah, we're just going to stick to the uh, train tracks. There's a couple also where it says you can't get wet. Now this is where it gets a little risky. So I just slow down, just hold down on X or A, depending on what controller you're using. Because you can fall off these bridges, fall off the horse, and next thing you know, you got to start it all over. Not to mention you may hurt yourself or Moon Moon. Okay, now we're good. Let's just go ahead and go for it. You can run hard on them if you want. Like this one I will, if you've got faith in your skills, but like just on a bridge, like one little way, just left or right, and you're jumping off. This one, I'm not going to risk that. We could have also just run down to the right. It's not like you have to stick to the tracks. This is just a good marker to kind of get you uh, quickest from A to B, since you've got hills and valleys and all that stuff through here. You need to be able to see what you're doing. Okay, no, no, of course these people are going to be right my way. <laughs> okay. So yeah, we just keep it up. This is a wide enough bridge. We can keep pushing her through this. There's just traffic everywhere, isn't there? But yeah, there's. Uh, I think what I was saying is, I know a couple of these. It's like, do it. No oh, man, we. I know we need random encounters, but we don't really need that many. Stop popping up. We're in the middle of something. But yeah, there's a couple of them that I know it says, like, ride from point A to point B with, uh, out ever touching water, and in such a s amount of time. I've heard some people say, like, it rained, and that caused them a problem. I've never had that happen. It's rained on these trips, but, like, if it's more like don't cross a river, stuff like that, they're not too hard. Again, we'll get to them. I'm not really doing a good job keeping up on talking to my girl here also not filling up as fast as I normally see it do it. We're talking a lot. Just wait until it actually fills up. Yep. But see, there's roads. I don't even know what time I started this. I'm going to kind of keep an eye on it to see if I'm going to fail. I'll just go back. But Yeah, there you go. That was a few minutes maybe. I don't think it was that bad. Cool. So we went ahead and got the Horseman 3 challenge. So we did do that. We 
Okay, while mounted, drag a victim for 3,300 feet using your lasso. That's kind of a messed up one. But we'll do that in the next episode, because uh, I did want to get at least one challenge going. We're really going to start focusing heavy on those, so we can get our 100% completion. But we'll do that one the next. So, uh, yeah, went ahead and hunted and went hunting with Charles again. Hey, you know what? There is one more thing I want to check. Give me just a second. I'll be back with you. Okay, welcome back. Uh, we're at this little cabin. I did do this at the end of my stream, that last video I was telling you about, so this may actually not trigger. Because I think I did save the game at that point. But I hear it. Nope, it's there. Horse is freaking out. Okay. I'll just show you what it is. So if you did watch that stream, you already know it's coming. Or if you play the game. But let's do it. got it. Yep, you see Grizzly was in there. Come here, Moon Moon. I know you don't want to come here, but... Alright, drop already. We want to stop you from suffering. And man, just like in the stream, it's not going to let me take it out of its misery. I hate that. Okay, now the reason we did that is, as you see, we got... It's okay, Moon Moon. It's not going to get you. Okay, pretend it's going to get you. But the reason we did that... And we've, uh, and I didn't save it, cool, as you see, we can take a pipe. We have not done a camp request yet, but what that is, is where a person from our gang, and there's a body back there, person from our gang comes up and says, hey, I've been looking for one of these, or uh, something of that. Would you mind, you know, taking it when you see them? And you can run across them in the wild. Um, I do know for a fact that Dutch is going to be asking for a pipe. So, yeah. Also, what's kind of cool, we do get a cigarette card here. Go ahead and take that. So we need that for 100%. Let's go ahead and search through all these drawers. Take some assorted biscuits. But yeah, I didn't save at the end of that last one. On purpose, because I wanted us to uh, see this in this shorter episode. Now we're... Okay, you see we lost honor. You know why? Because we let that thing suffer and we stayed close. I've gone over that before. How that can happen. I've um, got a couple poems here. And when you see these little inscriptions in different places, like you want punishment, we actually saw another one when we went after Flacco Hernandez in that stream, one of the gunslingers. Uh, those are actually cheats. Now, again, you can actually put cheats in, but you can't save the game. Be cool, more premium cigs. Needs another cigarette card. So, yeah, if you were to uh, find that, you literally go to... Where is it? I think settings... I don't really use the cheats much. They're just not all that fun to me. Okay, just press Y here. But you would literally type that in. So enter a cheat, and then uh, it would work. Now, also, like that one, you want punishment. If I were to enter that right now, it may not actually work. You have to wait until you get to certain points of the game sometimes. So, Okay, cool. So uh, we got that. We'll go ahead and take this potent health cure while we're in here. And I think that's it. I don't think there's anything in this little cabin we can take. But I did want to show you all that because... We will be getting those item requests, of course, and we're just going to jump up on the table there. Um, and when you do that, though, or uh, get those item requests, obviously we're going to show you where they are. And even though we haven't been asked for that one yet, we know it's there. So we went ahead and grabbed that pipe. But there's actually kind of some cool fan theories about this little cabin. Because Dutch asked you for the pipe. Um, that poem, there were two of them. I think he even mentions a woman's name that may be in one of those poems. The fan theory is that this is actually like Dutch's secret hideaway, just get away from everything cabin. So, kind of cool. So, we're going to get to camp. Go ahead and give that bear to Pearson. And uh, we're going to go ahead and call this a wrap on the episode. Certainly appreciate everybody watching. And uh, we'll be back with some more RDR2 in the near future. See y'all later.